Football is back this afternoon. Week one, Durfee versus Brockton from right here at Mac Aldridge Field. Hello again, everybody. I'm Evan Massoud. Welcome to Durfee High School and welcome to Fall 2.0. It's going to be a great afternoon of football. We've been really looking forward to this. You know, it's been over a year since the football team got to play here. And this week, we're opening the season at home. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of storylines coming in. Number one, of course, being the extended wait. The MIAA added this fall 2.0 season to give some flexibility to the athletic directors across the state so that if some teams weren't ready to play in the fall or were considered high-risk sports, they had a bubble that they'd still be able to compete in later on. Well, now we're here. Brockton comes in, always a tough opponent. The Hilltoppers finished their last season on a high note despite the loss against New Bedford. They have some veteran players that Coach Taylor Brown is very excited about. I had a chance to catch up with him this week at practice. Here's more from Coach. We got a lot of returning guys, um, so they're used to the system. Uh, they know the system. Um, they're comfortable with the system. Um, so in that aspect, with the play calling and the, and the you know signal calling and things like that, I think we're okay. Um, it's just our concern was the physical uh, and the mental ready, being ready. Um, and I think we've handled that pretty well uh, from day one. Uh, kids have been engaged throughout. The leadership that we have from the junior class and the senior class is great. Um, and, and the camaraderie is great. They all get along. Um, they're respectful kids. Um, so we're, we're expecting big things out of these boys. We are just moments away from kickoff here at Mac Aldridge Field. Stay with us live on Fred TV. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring members of the armed forces. Please assist in the mission to complete our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. The names of approximately 58,300 American heroes will appear on the aluminum panels. Black granite pavers may be purchased to memorialize those who proudly served. We welcome you to be part of this once in a lifetime project. To make a donation, order an individual paver, and see future announcements, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us on Facebook. 100% of your donation goes toward construction and perpetual care of the Healing Wall. Committee members expect a formal dedication in the spring of 2021. The spirit of this cooperative effort is of value to us all. Welcome back everybody to Mac Aldridge Field. Great to be with you this afternoon. We've made our way down into the booth. The captains, one from each side, number 10, Niger Montero for Durfee, and the QB number one, Devante Medley for Brockton, meeting for the coin toss at the 50 yard line. Just a beautiful day. I mean, yesterday's weather was a little warmer, but man, this is uh, certainly better than a Friday night in November, at least in my opinion. Uh, full sunshine this afternoon, 45 degrees, a bit windy at field level, so that may play into you know, the kicking and the passing game a little bit here. The boxers won the toss. And they will receive from right to left. Durfee will be kicking to the north. And both sides ready to rock and roll. We also have the Hilltopper Marching Band here. So we'll have the National Anthem as well. We're going to take a pause for that. Great to see the band on hand. And we will have live football in just a couple minutes. So stay with us here on Fred TV. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps and welcome the BMC Durfee High School Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Jay Trelor and Assistant Band Director Mr. Alex Olivier. The horn line instructor is Ryan Lewis and color guard instructor is Holly Ann Barrier.
Great job by the marching band here for the Hilltoppers. Always do such a nice job. Couple fans here. We are allowing, just like in the fall, a few fans here at Mac Aldridge Field. So the players will not be playing to an empty stadium, which is nice. Uh, and one of the things you're going to notice as well is, you know, how spread out the sidelines need to be. That's one of the, uh, you know, real sticking points here is, you know, the social distancing. And that was something the MIAA has been pushing and said, you know, they have to do. So uh, that is something that you will see. Uh, the sidelines may look a little smaller as well because there's a limited number of players that can suit up for the game. And um, from what we were also told... You know, players that suited up, even if they weren't going to play, just there to support the team. That wasn't going to be allowed because they're trying to limit who's on the sidelines. We are underway here in the 2020-2021 football season. A fumble on the return. Mishandled by Jason Winodi. So the boxers will start back near their own 20 after the kick from Sebastian Anasio. Some good news for Hilltoppers fans. Jason Hall back out on the field. You may recall that he injured himself during the basketball season towards the end of the season. Well, he is back and figures to be a big part of this team as he was last year. 1,000 yards rushing his sophomore year and now his junior year here. An abbreviated season, but still looking to make a splash. Brockton passing on first and 10. And that's good for a first down and a bit more. Devontae Stewart, a freshman for about 15 yards. The boxers move the chains as the ball spotted about the 37, 38 yard line. That's a false start. Here comes the flags. The QB keeper for Medley is good for the first down. But an illegal shift is going to pull them back. So that QB dash will be negated. You, know, you heard in the open Coach Brown talking about the leadership from this group of upperclassmen. You know, we, we talked about this core group two years ago as freshmen. You know, this group that played Fall River Falcons together. This core group also many of them playing on the basketball team which had such a great turnaround this year you know it's a shame that the season was abbreviated I would have loved to see you know how this team who finished and, and had a very strong season would have loved to see you know how they would have competed for 20 games you know and, and facing other opponents outside our bubble like Somerset like Attleboro Taunton um, you know Bishop Fee and some of these teams that we would see on a regular basis uh, you know, the Hilltoppers basketball team was very strong this year under Coach DeCruz, and many of these guys as juniors and seniors now here on the football team, you know, really looking to lead the Hilltoppers and, um, you know, make the underclassmen buy in like they did two years ago because their freshman season didn't go as they planned. They went over. But last year, great turnaround. This year, we expect even bigger things, as Coach said. Second down and 15, a fumble, or incomplete, rather. So third down and 15. playing 11-minute quarters this year. We switched to 12 last year. 
And uh, back down to 11 this year. The Durfee defense looking for a stop here after the illegal shift. Third and 15. Boxers lined up, three wide receivers to the right on this near side. Looks like Medley targeting, gonna shoot it down the field and he's got his man, beautiful pass. Perfect spiral in the air, Dominic Busser. Number 88, Alan Giordoni. Excuse me, that was a Navon Reed with the catch for the boxers, a deep ball from Medley. Spectacular pass. Ooh, almost offside. They had the Hilltoppers jumping. Ball at the 21, so just about at the red zone. Boxers needed a big play and they got it. Medley escapes the tackle, gonna go to the far side. Hall chasing him down and makes the tackle, but not after Medley comes up with about seven yards. Second and three boxes. Ball on the 14 yard line or thereabouts, second and three for Brockton. They hand it off to Rodrigo Lima. And that's good enough to move the chains. Looking at the line judge, looks like it might be about the 11 yard line. First and 10, so very close to uh, the end zone here, needing just 10 to 11 yards, probably right in between the yard markers. Medley passing, oh, hit from behind. Pass is complete, but getting nailed was Jason Winodi. Second down for the boxers, about three yards to go. High snap, handing it off. And the pile up at the goal line, Lima trying to get in. Not enough for the touchdown, but enough for the first down. So looking at first and goal from pretty much the one yard line. Really right, right on the edge of the end zone there. You saw the close up from our camera atop the booth. Medley gets taken down. I think he's short. He is. Tackle made in the back. So second and goal for the boxers. Drive for Brockton using half of the first quarter time. Five and a half played, five and a half to go. Ball, ball again. Medley runs into a wall and he stopped once again short of the goal line. Brought down by number 
number 15. Anasio with the tackle. This will bring up third and goal. And a timeout taken by the offense. Okay, back to it here, looking at third and goal from about the one yard line. An extended timeout there, you know, Brockton called timeout, but one of the new things, uh, we saw this, you know, in some of the other sports as well, is a mandatory water break. So under six minutes, there is a, basically an official timeout. So a little bit longer than the usual. Medley gets the snap, looks like he's gonna keep it, and he is going down. The Hilltoppers with three straight stops at the goal line. And number 52, Ryan Hayden. Couple changes being made here for Brockton. We see uh, Rodrigo Lima coming back in, number four. Important goal for the boxer. And Medley staying out there. So can the Hilltoppers get one more stop? Watch out on the left, you got two boxers against one. A lot of room on the left side if Medley decides to pass. Could be a fake for him to run it. They do hand it off and it's gonna be a touchdown. The boxers get in on fourth and goal after three tremendous stops by the Durfee defense. Six nothing Brockton. Got a player down on the field in the end zone as well. Looks like one of the boxers. Getting up, that was a Jose De Pina, number 73, limping off the field. Depina is a linesman. Boxers line up, going for two. Medley, shuffle pass, ball is loose. Incomplete, it was a forward pass. 
There are whistles on the field. It was a forward shuffle pass. It is not going to count because you can't run back the extra point. And not to mention it was not a lateral. It was a shuffle pass that was never caught. So a uh, <laughs> little bit of entertainment factor there, but unfortunately it doesn't mean anything. Um, so for Durfee, you know, good defense. Really the one big pass is what hurt them on that drive um, for the uh, the boxers offense. But uh, down at the goal line, to stop them three times, yes, they did get in, but I like what I'm seeing from the defense. They seem quick to the ball. Uh, six nothing. Let's see how the offense responds after Brockton uses six minutes and 50 seconds of this opening quarter on their opening drive. Hilltoppers ready to receive. We see a lot of quick transitions between drives as well. Something in the past, you know, we've seen some breaks, some teams huddling up, talking right back to the action here. Picking up at the field, Brockton will be kicking into the wind. Bouncer on the ground. Picked up by Najir Montero and he smothers it at about the 29. Najir Montero. It will be first and 10 Hilltoppers. Our first look at the Durfee offense here in 2021. Isaiah Thomas, the QB. Durfee runs it on first down, and it's Jay Hall. Handoff to Jay Hall. A pickup of four. Four yard gain, second and six, Hilltoppers. Second and six at the 33. In motion, Javon Holly. Montero taking it, gain of two. Jeffrey Prophet on the tackle. Third and four as we roll up on three minutes to play in the first quarter. After a long defensive Sequence, Hilltoppers definitely don't want to go three and out, and it's almost reeled in. Thomas passed, it went through the hands of one receiver, good enough for the first, and there was a second Hilltopper back there also, but unable to corral it before it hit the ground. And it's fourth and four. Hilltoppers will have to punt it away. Low snap. And a high booming punt for Jay Hall, who's going to be the punter. And oh, a favorable bounce for the Hilltoppers. 
Going to go all the way back to about the 23-yard line. Even so, a lot of hang time from Jason Hall's punt right there. You know, the bad news for the Hilltoppers is such a short offensive sequence. Now the defense, which was out there for almost seven minutes, has to head right back to the field. So first and 10 from the 23, Brockton starting their drive from basically the same spot as their first drive. Oh, wow, Medley ran into his own man, kind of got screened a little bit there by uh, Noah Alowu. Caused a little bit of a problem there getting the ball off. In fact, it ends up being a loss of three. So second and 13 coming down, they get backed up to the 20. Mad dash back into the pocket and he gets spun down a gain of maybe two. Rafael Vasquez on the tackle. They do pick up about two, kind of right between the, uh, the yard markers again. So pretty much back to the original line of scrimmage. We'll say third and 10, maybe third and a little more than 10. Is there such a thing as half a yard? We debate this every year. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> Pressure coming on Medley. Incomplete pass, and the Hilltoppers defense comes up with a three and out. Boxers will have to punt. Hilltoppers line figures to be a very strong point on this team, a key part of this team here in 2021. Like I said, quick to the ball, seems to have some good instinct here. We're seeing, I like what I'm seeing here early. Timeout for Durfee, 55 seconds to play here in the first. And we'll go into the timeout. Say one thing that's definitely different, this press box is usually a bustling place and uh, there's just four of us in here. We each pretty much have our own window. Camera up on the roof. One of our seniors, Daniel Keating, who's been working with us all year long. One of the uh, few in our group of students that work sports with me, he's up on the roof. Really is a nice you know, angle having that extra height. I mean, we like, we don't mind filming in here uh, particularly when the weather's bad, you know, protects the equipment, but the higher angle, always nice, because you can see that far sideline so much better. The press box here actually is a bit low. Um, these these bleachers don't go up too high. They're only, let's see, one, eight rows up, and then an extra step up for the booth here. So, you know, like we, I always compare to Diamond. Diamond's field is so down. You know, the press box is at ground level from the door side, but from the window side, you know, the bleachers go down about twice as far as this, maybe 15 to 20 rows. So you're much higher. You can see the far side a little bit better. So, you know, the, having the camera up on the roof really helps that, um, particularly, you know, from a monitor standpoint for me, even. High snap and almost blocked, diving in. The Hilltoppers were. It's a short punt, going to bounce just, uh, just about at the 40 before it rolls out of bounds at the 44-yard line. The Hilltoppers are going to have prime field position. They will start five to six yards into boxer territory. So let's see if the Hilltoppers can make the most of this opportunity. I mean, it wasn't a bad punt. Boxers had to kick it from 
inside the 10, but you know, kicking into the wind a bit and kicking from so far back, I mean, don't expect it to go, you know, down to the 30 of the Hilltoppers. So not a bad punt, just, you know, backed way up. So it will be first and 10 for Durfee from the 44. The Durfee center there, Eli Robitaille. Heading to the line first. Series two for the Durfee offense. Here we go. They set Javon Holly in motion. They hand off to Hall. Hall dives forward, still on his feet. I thought he went down. He's gonna be close to the first down as he went out of play. The line judge running up the 35 yard line. Marking him down at the 39, 38, 39. So about five yards on the carry, five to go, second and five. Final 10 seconds of the quarter, final play of the first quarter coming here. If Durfee gets it off, they do. Hall up the middle, good for the first down. The Hilltoppers move the chains as the first quarter comes to a close. Appears that Hall was able to get to the 30 on that run. Looks to be about an eight to nine yard rush for Durfee's first, first down of the afternoon. And we're gonna switch sides again, first quarter. Coming to a close here at Mac Aldridge Field. Good first quarter. Uh, you know, Brockton used a lot of it uh, because of that first drive. Again, a six minute and 50 second opening drive uh, and a score, which included four plays at the goal line. So, you know, that kind of tells the story right there. Durfee had a three and out in their first series. They just handed Brockton a three and out. And now the Hilltoppers in their second series trying to tie this one up or perhaps pull ahead. We'll see what the second quarter brings. So just stay with us here. Quick timeout in between quarters just for a quick water break. Box is already heading back out. So we're going to keep it right here. Hilltoppers ready to rock. First and 10 from the 30. Evan Massoud with you here. Second quarter about to begin at Mac Aldridge Field. Holly in motion again. This time Montero gets the handoff. Got tripped at the line, I think on his own handoff linesman. Falls forward for a gain of about maybe two. Jeffrey Prophet. Yeah, just a two yard gain, so second and eight from the 28. And off to Hall. Hall diving forward across the 25, short of the first. Just a couple yards to go. You know, we talked about this. Um, one of my good friends who I actually, you know, went to school with here was the quarterback here, BJ McDonald. He also coached here for a number of years. Uh, we've had B on the broadcast Third down and three, uh, a couple times before. And, um, you know, one of the things we always talked about was forward progression. Even if it's just, you know, two yards, three yards here, you know, if you continue to do that, average, you know, the three to four yards even, you're going to get the first downs. You don't have to have a big 10 yard rush on every single play. Just keep chipping away. Moving forward, look out, Montero, uh, excuse me, uh, Thomas. Ball comes loose. Luckily for the Hilltoppers, they do fall on it and they keep it, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. And it's a loss of mm, about five Double yards, four or five yards here. Uh, recovers, bring up fourth down. Thomas never saw the pressure behind him. And the ball came out. So that's not that's going against what I was just saying. Is, you know, obviously, you know, the defense is going to get in your face sometimes, but uh, you know, it's when you're running the ball three times in a row for negative yardage. All right, now you got to come up with something new. But 
if, if the Hilltoppers can establish the run game here and do what they've done so far on this drive, and that's, you know, three or four yards here and there, you're going to keep moving the chains, and eventually those drives are going to turn into points. Right now, tough task. Looking at fourth and a long seven, maybe short eight, somewhere in between there. Durfee is going for it. And now a whistle as it appears. Timeout called by the Hilltoppers. Coach Taylor Brown wants to huddle up the Time troops. So before this fourth down play, Hilltoppers go into the timeout. to play. Big play early here for both sides, really. Durfee wanting to keep it going. The boxers want to give it up. This is a completed pass, but only to the line of scrimmage. Pressure coming from the boxers defense, and that play did not pan out how Durfee wanted it to. And it's a turnover on downs from about the 28-yard line. So a slow start for the Durfee offense here in week one. And the defense will be asked to step up here as Brockton begins their third drive. They fake the handoff, Medley. Taking it himself, ankles wrapped up just short of the first down, about a nine yard pickup. Maybe eight, depending on where the knee went down. It looks like they're giving him nine yards. I mean, very That's close to the first down. Three, yeah, second and a yard, second and one. Medley looking to pass. A lot of time, bullet down the field, and he overshoots his intended receiver, Jason Winodi. Winodi broke free. He got around the secondary, and he had nothing but open field ahead of him. But Medley, just a little bit too downfield for Winodi to reel it in. Third and one. Those second and shorts are like the perfect down to try those plays because you still got, I mean, with now third and one, you pretty much can do anything here and you only need that one yard. So why not take a shot down the field? The ball comes out of uh, Medley's hand really well. They hand it off and that's good for a first down and about still on his feet, almost 10 more. Yeah, he'll say 10 more. <laughs> off, Little extra there after the tackle. Sage Paradise got up pretty quickly. No huddle for the boxers. Just barely getting off the field here, Dante Sawyer. They hand it off again. That was Barnes on the carry. Boxers not wasting time. Passing, far side, complete, 
escaping two tackles. Looks like Reed, number 88, with the reception and a short gain. High snap. Medley keeps it and gets the first. Medley on the keeper. You know, I don't know if it's the angle here, the perspective, but they had set Jason Winotti in motion. And the, the way the snap came, like almost right in front of him, it looked like he was going to almost get in the way of the snap. I'm sure there was more space than, uh, than it appeared just with the naked eye. But, you know, the illusion, the depth here from my angle, it, it looked kind of kind of funky. First down for Brockton at the 39 of the Hilltoppers. Medley fakes the handoff and keeps it again. This play is working. The Hilltoppers are buying the fake. So another pickup. Decent yardage, eight yards this time for Brockton as they continue to move downfield as we come up on the halfway mark of this second quarter. 5.40 to play before the half. Medley waiting, couldn't find an open receiver, decides to run it. Fresh set of downs, another good run for the boxers as Winodi going to the far side. We see our penalty marker. It's a false start for the boxers. Just the second flag of the game. So that will replay the first down after the penalty here. That'll back Brockton up to the 31. So first and 15 after the false start. The only other penalty came in Brockton's uh, first series and that was uh, an illegal shift. They hand the ball off to Zaquan Barnes. And I think that's gonna be a loss. Yeah, about two yard loss. Tackled in the backfield. So second and 17. it out. Let's see if they pass. Medley, full pressure, passes, incomplete. Hilltoppers rushed about four guys <laughs> and Medley could do nothing with it. I mean, lucky to even get the pass off. Looked like Reed was the intended receiver there again. And, and, and you know, credit to Medley because he did get the ball off. And I'll tell you, if Reed came up with that, with four guys back for Durfee rushing the QB, there would have been a lot of real estate for Reed to play with. So Durfee took a gamble there, paid off 
Third and long, third and 17. Medley dropping back again. Will he run? No. Runs into his own man, wrapped up. Incomplete pass. The Durfee defense does it again. Good pressure. Brian Hayden this time getting to the QB. Fourth and 14, uh, 17, excuse me. Still at the 34 after the incomplete pass. And I have to imagine that Brockton's gonna go for it. I mean, they're so far down the field to begin with. So the timeout on the field. Water break. All right, here we go. Team's back out on the field. 4.02 to play here in this first half. Boxers are going for it. I mean, this is a tough spot to kick from. Chance at being a touchback and then what? You only gain about 10 yards. So you might as well go for it. Stranger things have happened. It's a fourth and 17 for Brockton. Toppers not really playing too safe you know, with, with in terms of coverage down the field, still crowding the line. They want to get the pressure to the to the quarterback. They are Medley throwing on the run. Does he have his guy? Yes, he does. Navon Reed, the height pays off, and it's first and goal for Brockton. First and goal from the four. The Boxers trying to go up two scores here. Ball possession has been completely in their favor this afternoon. Handoff, big tackle from behind. They gave it to Rodrigo Lima. Jay Hall with the tackle. And he'll bring up third and goal. Loss of a couple yards there, so the box is backed up to the six. Passing, Medley, pressure, wrapped up, going down. Hilltoppers with the sack. Medley is sacked by number one, Jay Hall. Jason Hall does it again. Fourth and goal. A 
loss of about a yard. Fourth and goal from the seven, 90 seconds to play in the half. See if Medley will target Reed. He's on the far side of the field. Far side to the right. Medley passing, left side, wide open in the back corner of the end zone is Mitchell Gardner. Touchdown, boxers. I'm going to correct myself. That was Cameron Montero, number 17. It looked like 47 from here. 17, Cameron Montero broke free. Back left corner. Good for six. 114 to play in the half. And another long drive for Brockton, easily using half of this second quarter. Going for two, they failed the first time. Medley gets wrapped up, almost in a chokehold, and no good on the two point conversion. So the Hilltoppers trail 12-0. Nearing the end of the second quarter. Again, pretty gusty down on the field. Kick in the air this time, and the Hilltoppers with a chance to run it back. Or run, I should say, with a chance for a return. Decent return that looked to be uh, Javon Holly. Oh, Jaden Lewis, excuse me. So 108 for the Hilltoppers to work with here. They will get the ball to start the third quarter, but see if they can put a few plays together here at the end of the first half. Maybe get into a little bit of a rhythm. Who knows, maybe a big hit down the field for a quick six. First and 10 from the 32. They hand it off to Hall, no, passing to the near side. That's complete to Holly. Holly with some space. Oh, he gets tripped up. He had nothing but green in front of him. Appears that Jerson Sufferant tripped him up. Oh, Holly was going all the way. I'd like to see Jerfy go right back to that play. Do it again. False start. Flag on the play. Jose De Pina for the boxes, very quickly pointing at Sage Paradise. A five yard penalty will back the Hilltoppers up. It'll be first and 15 from their own 47. So they had crossed midfield, now retreating. Holly Lewis and Genty on the left side. 
of Thomas. Still on his feet. That did not turn out how Durfee was intending it to. Good defense from the boxers to read that. And a timeout on the field with 31 seconds to play. Hilltoppers. Hilltoppers using the timeout. And it looks like, if anything, Durfee only grabbed maybe a yard on that. So we'll say second and 14 from the 48. mentioned in the open uh, an abbreviated schedule pretty much like all the other sports the Hilltoppers basically playing in their bubble their conference um, so it's a five-week season everybody plays four games and has a bye as well Durfee's actually gonna get the bye on week four um, in advance of the season finale against New Bedford second and 14 Thomas looking to pass. His arm may have been tipped. Wobbly ball. It's intercepted. Thomas's pass intended for number six, Jaden Lewis. Intercepted by number 32. Malik Miranda, Miranda picking off Thomas with 20 seconds left in the second quarter. First turnover of the day is to Brockton's benefit. And they'll take over at their own 34, first and 10. We've seen Medley try to go down the field a couple times in this first half. So if I'm the Hilltoppers, yeah, I mean, they've been really pressuring the QB a lot, but I would, I would play back just a little bit. Add an extra guy to the secondary. Don't want to get burned with 20 seconds. Got to protect downfield. Dropping back. Scanning the field, directing traffic. Down the field he goes, and it's complete to Cameron Montero, who just scored the last touchdown. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there, a 30-plus yard gain with 10 seconds to play with. Close to 40-yard gain, really. A beautiful pass. And the timeout called by Brockton right at the end of that play. They'll have first and 10 from, their own, uh, from the Durfee 26. Medley, a senior QB for the Boxers, and uh, you know, we didn't get to see Brockton in uh, last season because Durfee traveled there. When we host New Bedford, we travel to Brockton. This year, we're hosting Brockton. We'll travel to New Bedford. Um, so we haven't seen Medley in two seasons, and uh, man, the ball really does come out of his hand. Really smooth, tight spiral in the air. Good accuracy so far this afternoon in his few passes. First and 10. Low snap. 
Medley, tons of time, pressure coming from behind, and he's going down. Medley sacked by number 24. Jeffrey Castro on the sack from behind. There's a flag on the play. On the play. The scoreboard reading zero in terms of the time. We only had 10 seconds. A face mask against the Hilltoppers. So you can't end the half on a penalty. It's a 15 yard penalty on the personal foul. And it'll be an untimed down. So Brockton getting an escort into the red zone. Inside the five it appears. A 15 yard line, excuse me. But in the red zone and they'll get a shot at the end zone here with no time. I'll say it again, I think Durfee needs to play a little bit safe and have some extra guys down the field. I know they're getting to the QB, but you know, if Medley gets a pass off, pressure, oh, how about that? Storming in, full steam ahead. Niger Montero ends the half on a high note. The untimed down, not hurting. Durfee at the end of the half. They trail 12 0 after two quarters of play. Halftime will be a 10 minute break. Uh, one of the changes is the teams are not heading to the locker rooms, they stay out on the field. So a 10 minute halftime break here. Stay tuned on Fred TV for the third quarter. Hilltoppers will start the second half with possession. You're watching live football this Saturday afternoon here on Fred TV. Welcome back everybody to Mac Aldrich Field. The halftime break is in the books. First half is in the books. We're ready for quarter number three. Evan Massoud with you here on Fred TV. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday afternoon. First half really lasted about an hour, and uh, Brockton really had the upper hand in terms of time of possession, um, you know, really dominating with some long drives. The defense for Durfee has got to be tired, although they have done a formidable job. Um, you know, really the biggest thing is we need the offense. Um, you know, for Durfee, they they need to get in high gear. Um, only moved the chains a couple times in that first half. And you know, when you can't get into a rhythm and the defense is out there constantly, obviously it's gonna wear them down over time. Um, you know, Brockton with these sustaining drives, you know, the opening drive of the game, Brockton had the ball for six minutes and 50 seconds. Um, so, and they scored. So right there, um, you know, you're shortening the game by controlling the time of possession. And then they did the same thing in the second quarter, had a lot of time um, that they used. So halftime break, a uh, little different here this year. Halftime, 10 minutes, players stayed on the field. And then now they get three minutes, uh, they're on the clock. They get a three minute clock to stretch, to huddle up, and they need to be on the field and ready for the second half kickoff before those three minutes are up. Those of you watching us here on Facebook, it's your home for live stream action. We appreciate you tuning in and we encourage you to like and follow us so you don't miss future games. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where all of our video on demand content is. For those of you who don't have Facebook, YouTube is the next best thing. Kudos to our colleague, Gary Lee made some real nice new bumpers for us here on Fred TV for uh, Channel 9 and for the sportscast in particular. So we thank you, Gary. They look great. Last minute here, ready to kick off 
in this third quarter. Here we go. A lot of room. Javon Holly down the sidelines. Kickoff return for a touchdown. The Hilltoppers are on the board. No penalty markers, and the Hilltoppers, in about 10 seconds' time, have just cut the lead in half. How about that? That's fantastic. Well, if that doesn't jumpstart the offense, I'm not sure what will. <laughs> now, there's a clip in our opening um, that we shot uh, last season, and um, it's a play similar to that where Holly went right down the sidelines. He loves the sidelines. When he can get by, he's so fast. Great start to the second half for the Hilltoppers. They will kick and go for the extra point. It appears to be uh, Sebastian Inacio. Ball down, kick on its way, low kick, but it is good. 12 to seven. Hilltoppers with the score on the opening kickoff. Just 11 seconds elapsing here in this third quarter. We got ourselves the ball game. Let's see how the defense does now. Again, uh, you know, <laughs> time of possession still gonna be skewed towards Brockton because Jay Durfee really didn't even possess the ball except for the run back. So now it's up to the defense again. It's spent a lot of time on the field this afternoon. Hilltoppers kicking off. Good kick in the air now for Inacio. Oh, ball comes loose. And it'll be dead inside the 10. Mishandled by Jason Winodi. That's the second time this afternoon that he's mishandled it. On just the second kickoff of the day for Durfee. The opening kickoff as well was mishandled by Winodi. He had to fall on it. This one much more costly as the boxers will be starting from about the eight yard line. I think that's a lateral. That might have been a live ball. Hilltoppers, that looked like a backwards pass. And almost a safety, Winodi had to fall on it down at the two yard line. It was a backwards pass. Big time pressure on Medley. 
tried to do something with it, and the Hilltoppers almost came away with a goal line fumble. So second down and about 16 yards. Hilltoppers with a number of sacks this afternoon as well. Medley will have to receive the snap inside the end zone. We'll see if the Hilltoppers defense can get to him. Gonna pass. Lots of room on the near side as it goes to Michael Curry. Curry hit from the side and taken out of bounds, but that is good enough to move the chains. That's a big play for the boxers from in the end zone. That was just good enough to move the chains. Fresh set of downs from the 19 yard line. First and 10 boxers. Penalty marker in the air. Pass was intended for Cameron Montero. He got leveled about 10 yards shy of the pass. In fact, the ball was sailing out of bounds anyway, uncatchable. The penalty markers from both sidelines. Both line judges with penalty flags, so a false start play should have been ruled dead. I, I'm not sure, I didn't hear a whistle, but it'll be a five yard penalty for Brockton. So we'll replay first down. It'll be first and 15 from the 14 yard line. So from the 14, we'll replay the down first and 15. Back, almost a backwards pass again. It is forward. It's incomplete. I'm really liking the pressure from the defense of the Hilltoppers. They've really stuck to this game plan. We've seen it throughout the game. They've been consistent. And you know, the, the, the Brockton offensive line has really not had an answer. Second and 15. They hand it off, going to the ground this time. And they get back the penalty yards and then some, that looked like Noah Alowu, number 26. Holly with the tackle. Hilltoppers are gonna get caught with too many men on the field, I think. Oh, they're okay. Michael Curry just getting to the line to gain, and that moves the chains. Fresh set of downs for Brockton. Mick Cornell with the tackle. Ball at the 30. Passing again, Medley. Targeting left and right. Another first down for the boxers. This time it's Sean Lopes. And Brockton going no huddle once again as well. Almost offside, did he get back? I think he did, no penalties, no flags. <laughs> that was very close to a neutral zone infraction. Oh, 
Jason Hall coming off the field with a bit of a limp. Went into that last tackle very, very acrobatically. And now he is out for the moment. Seen a couple players on the sideline as well. It looked like, almost like might be dealing with some cramps. So that could be possible as well. Curry can't handle the pass as Medley was chased outside of the pocket by Wafik Alaikis. Third and five. Ball at the Brockton 47. They got to get into Hilltopper territory for a first down. Three, three receivers to the right here again. Expect Medley to pass. I, that was close to a false start. There was some movement by the receivers. Lofted pass to Reed, and who gets hit hard by Ron Genty, but he's able to hold on to the ball before being tackled, and it's another Brockton first down. That one good for a 10 plus yards. Good enough for a boxer first down. Well, Brockton has certainly changed the uh, game plan just a bit here heading into this second half. Going to the air almost exclusively. Very few running plays. Medley keeping it himself, has plenty of room Right up the chute, still on his feet as he spins. Hilltoppers can't bring him down. Still on his feet, down inside the 10. A mad dash from Medley. Two Hilltoppers slow to get up. Ginty on the ground for Durfee on the left side of the field, back and around the uh, 25. Another long drive for Brockton. This one about four minutes and 10 seconds old. We're in an injury timeout here at Mac Aldridge Field. Trainer Kelly Mahoney out on the field there, tending to Genty. Genty definitely favoring that left leg, which is wrapped up already, but getting off the field under his own power, so that's good to see. Back out on the field. First and goal from about the five yard line for Brockton. Knocking on the door once again. High snap, Medley with the pass. Wide open in the back of the end zone is Reed uncovered, Medley's makes the catch Reed just in bounds. And the boxers touchdown. find the end zone for the third time this afternoon. Second touchdown pass of the day for Devontae Medley. This time it's Navon Reed coming down with it. You don't see guys 
you know, catching in the back of the end zone too often, but when you have the height and they're not covered, you go there. I snap, Medley can just walk in. Goodness gracious. Well, the first two two-point conversions didn't work out for Brockton, but that one was like the parting of the Red Sea. 20 to seven, Brockton with 6.25 to play in the third. You like that one, Margaret, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time in the booth, I'll tell you. <laughs> Got to keep it light. Good group here. Again, small group in the booth, smaller than usual, of course, you know. But we have a lot of fun, that's for sure. Well, you know, the Hilltoppers had that kickoff return but then you know the downside of that was not been able to really get into a rhythm offensively um so you know the one play it's awesome for sure but the defense didn't get really a rest and the offense didn't get some snaps so um you know there's good and bad when it comes to you know kickoff returns like that certainly exciting that's for sure We'll see what the offense can do here. Oh, ball fell off the tee again. Um, so the Hilltoppers back deep to return. Well, that's going out of play. Bad kick off there. The Hilltoppers will take over first and ten. Well, the Hilltoppers not going to get to run it back this time as uh, Reed really shanked that one to the left. So Durfee will take over where it went out of play. Right here at the 40 yard line, first and 10, the Hilltoppers with good field position. And like I said, you know, the, the offense really needs to get into a bit of a rhythm here. That's Jason Hall back into the game. Good, good run on first down. He gets tripped up at the 30. It's a gain of 30 yards for number one. Still favoring a little bit. Spent the better part of about two game minutes on the sideline with the strength and conditioning coach. And you know, two minutes, two game minutes is a, you know, a decent amount of time in football. That's a good, First down play for the Hilltoppers. A gain of 30. They're into Brockton territory. First and 10. They'll hand it off to Hall again. And he got tripped up at the line. Hall, the ball carrier, tripped up by number 76. It actually looked like he got in. I uh, think he ran into El Lakis, his own teammate at the line. Second and nine, Hilltoppers. Did get one yard out of it. Second and nine.
Right back to Hall. Hall cuts inside. I think the ball came loose. It did. Brockton with the recovery after the fumble. Second turnover of the day for the Hilltoppers. The offense can't catch a break. There was an interception back in the second quarter. And now a fumble recovery by the Boxers defense. And more significantly, now the Hilltoppers defense has to head back out on the field. 5.09 to play in the third as we change possessions. Our PA announcer, Coach Billy Thran, catching as well. Off to my right, I, I have a pillar here, the windows. Um, Javon Holly on the sidelines right now with our trainer, Kelly Mahoney. So he's not out there on defense at the moment. That's some big speed that the Hilltoppers are going to be missing. Curry with the catch. He's got a lot of room. And he gets taken down at about the 45 of the Hilltoppers. That's a cross midfield on one play. Brought down at the 46. 46 yard officially is where the ball is spotted. First and 10, Brockton. Right back to the line, no huddle. We've seen this a couple times as well, and I think that's really wearing the defense down of the Hilltoppers. And they've still been quick to the ball, but is, again, you can only sustain for so long, and particularly it's week one. Medley, a lot of time, ranging, gets the ball off. And Curry, wide open, gets up. Excuse me, that's actually um, Winodi. Medley's pass to number 12, Jason Winodi. Caught. Good Genty with the tackle. Winodi actually almost got up and ran off because he was untouched. And Genty quickly got there to down him. Ball at the 28, first and 10. Another fresh set of downs. Oh, getting hit hard was Noah Alowu. It was Mon uh, Najir Montero putting the first hit on him before he got wrapped up by uh, Tejan Ratre. Gain of a yard. So second and nine as Brockton this time does go into the huddle. Medley, pressure coming, Hall on his tail feathers. He dumps the ball off, it's incomplete. Flag comes flying in. Incomplete, there is a flag on the play. Should be intentional grounding. There were no boxes anywhere near. Oh, they called a hold on the hold offense. On the offense. That's going to back Brockton all the way up to their, uh, to the 45. Looking at third and like maybe 27. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, about third and 27. Holy cow. Very costly. So basically the sack is the the sack will count and then you tack on the penalty. Boxers have to get to the 19 yard line for a first down. Lateral pass. Winodi working the sideline. He's out of play after a gain of say nine yards. Well, 
They got ten yard, uh, nine yards back. Out of nine yard game goes out of bounds at the Hillcroft 36 yard line. Ball on the 36 yard line now. So looking at um, third down and 18 from the 36. I said third down previously, it was second down. That last down was second down. The uh, line, the linesman working the down marker as Medley weaves his way through traffic. It had said third and that was incorrect. So this was third down. Now we have fourth down coming up. Penalty yards wiped away with that rush from Medley. Ball's going to be at the 30, excuse me, 25, about seven yards shy of a first down. So fourth and fourth and seven coming up. This is a big play here for Durfee. And of course, with, you know, with Brockton keeping the ball on the field, the time just continues to roll here as they continue to rack up possession minutes. It's really remarkable, the time of possession for the boxers this afternoon. They have really kept the ball out of the hands of Durfee. And a timeout on the field. Brockton calls timeout. Hilltoppers will use that opportunity to have a water break. See Jason Hall there on your screen. Number 57, Nicholas Wood coming in as well. As the Hilltoppers huddling up. Back to it, pivotal fourth down here. Fourth and a long seven for Brockton. They were at second and 27. They got 20 yards back, incomplete pass. Incomplete pass and Durfee takes over on down. Hilltoppers will take over at their own 25. Two oh eight to play in the third as the Hilltoppers offense hits the field. First and ten. Give it right back to Jason Hall, trying to cut back in. Get stopped, maybe a gain of a yard. Jay Hall with the carry, gain of one. Second and nine. And you're getting to that point in the game now. As we come up on 90 seconds in the third, that you know the way Brockton has been able to sustain drives, whether they score or not, you know you're getting to a point where the Hilltoppers are kind of in a must-score situation. Only down by two possessions, but Brockton has significantly shortened this game. All running straight ahead, 
Tried to juke right, and then he ended up going right up the middle. Marking, marking him across the 30. Give him about five, say third and four coming up. Got to get to the 35 for a first down. Hand it off, bit of a sweep here. And that is gonna be good for the first down. And most likely the last play of this third quarter. Jaden Lewis with the carry. Jaden Lewis with the sweep there from the far sideline to the near sideline, getting a handoff on the run. Able to move the chains for Durfee. As we roll up on 10 seconds here in the third, Hilltoppers break the huddle. We'll see if they get the playoff. Five seconds. Two seconds. They do get it off. They hand it off to Hall, who will go to the far side. Cutting in, still on his feet. Diving forward and a yard Ray short. Hall with the carry. Gain of nine. One yard short of the first down, that will end, that the, the, end third the third quarter. Brockton and Durfee both finding the end zone here in the third. The Hilltoppers did it at the beginning of the quarter on the kickoff return. And Brockton doing so on their uh, two possessions ago. They also had a successful two-point conversion. The Hilltoppers with a successful point after kick on their touchdown. And now the Hilltoppers looking at second and one as we change sides here. Might even be less than one. It's going to be very close. Chains. Everybody confused right now on the field. <laughs> Switching sides. It's going to be second down and one from the 45. So fourth quarter beginning here. Thanks for staying with us here on Fred TV. Evan Massoud with you for the fourth and final quarter of Week one football here on this March the 13th. That's good enough for a first down, I would say, despite being pushed back forward progress, according to the line judge, that should give the Hilltoppers a fresh set of downs at about the 47. First down run. Down the sidelines. Jaden Lewis.
So first and 10 Hilltoppers. Ball at the 24-23. Running play, stopped at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10, no gain. Second down and 10. From the 23. Hall, far side. Gets by one tackle, taken down across the 20 and into the red zone. Third down and six, ball at the 20 yard line, or just inside the 20, maybe the 19. Four down territory for Durfee, that's for sure. Thomas dropping back, oh here comes some pressure, he skips away, gets the ball off, nice scoop on this end, but it's gonna be short of the first down. That was Niger Montero with the catch on a desperation throw. It is good for the first down, I stand corrected. Thomas under pressure and he was able to get the pass off. And the Hilltoppers move the chains. First and 10 from the 12. Montero gets the handoff, gonna plug it up the middle as he crosses the 10. Najee Montero with the carry. Gain of three yards. Gonna bring up second and seven. Just inside the 10. Seven and a half to play. Hilltoppers could use a quick score here. They're deep into boxers territory. Thomas rolling out to the end zone. Touchdown, Hilltoppers! Jaden Lewis with the reception. 10 yard pass from Thomas. And they got their quick score. It's 20 to 13. From Isaiah Thomas. Looks like Thomas is gonna kick the extra point. Inacio did the first time, oh no, excuse me, Thomas is gonna hold. Inacio, two for two today with extra point kicks and it's a six point game with 7.16 to play. Crunch time now for the Hilltoppers. They got their score. That's the best the offense looked all afternoon. Now the defense needs a big stop.
Nasio with the kick, short kick, and it's gonna be taken by Malik Miranda. The, the boxers are gonna start at their own 39, the kick going just over 20 yards. Not a great kick that time from Anasio. Is that a good game kicking th uh, this afternoon? But that one not going too far. Gives the boxers good field position. First down, no. Medley keeping it. Ends up keeping it. Ball's at the 45. It was a gain of six. So second and four. More importantly, the clock continues to roll here at McAldridge Field. Couple first downs for the boxers and the Hilltoppers may run out of time. That one is incomplete. That'll stop the clock, so that helps. Third down and four. And the Hilltoppers with two turnovers this afternoon. I'm sure they'd like one back. This would be a prime time for one. Big third down play here, third and four. They hand it off. And he did not get there. Looks like stopped one yard short. I don't think Brockton can consider going for it here on their own side of the field in a one possession game. So it would appear that Durfee may have gotten their stop. No, Brockton is still out on the field with the offense. May try to draw them off sides, we'll see. Fundamentals 101. You don't jump the line, just sit back and wait. And it costs the Hilltoppers. That is incredibly frustrating. First down, Brockton. Official timeout, or is there, there was an, actually there was an injured player, it appears. Mackay Boston, number 75 for Brockton. And now a water break as well, as we're under six minutes here in the quarter. Well, we mentioned earlier, folks, uh, we appreciate Tuning in for the live stream action. These games, of course, will are running right now. Today we're running live on the channel as well. Uh, there'll be replays throughout the upcoming week. Also looking forward to girls volleyball this week. Uh, the boxers coming down on Tuesday to score off against the Lady Hilltoppers. They did not play in the fall because we didn't have a gym at that time. <laughs> they were still renovating the field house. And uh, so we had to wait. And uh, so we'll get to play Brockton. And then we'll be playing a bunch of teams uh, in the South Coast League, you know, the uh, Somerset, Berkeley, Norwell. We just played Norwell, uh, the Durfee girls, with a win on the road to start the season. Three to one, winning three games to one or three sets to one, you know, however you fancy. So the Lady Hilltoppers will come into Tuesday at one and oh. 
into their first home game on the new court. Medley dropping back to pass here on first down. Deep down the field and over the shoulder catch. And that's going to ice it. Jason Winodi with the touchdown catch. The third touchdown pass of the day for Devontae Medley, who has been very impressive with the passing game. 26-14 the score. How costly that offside now comes to be. The Hilltoppers had the boxers stopped on their own side of the field. A costly penalty. And just like that, a touchdown. The fourth of the day for Brockton. Going for two. They've done this all afternoon. They have not kicked the ball. And it looks good. It is good. The pass from Medley for two points. And it's 28 to 14 in favor of Brockton. So before the pass, I started to talk about, uh, you know, Facebook. We're live streaming on Facebook. We're live on the channel today as well. And uh, for future games, don't want to miss any of the action, be sure to like and follow us on Facebook so you get that little ping when we go live and you don't miss a moment. Good kickoff. That one bounces at the one and goes out. That's one of the best kickoffs seen in a couple seasons. Touchback. And Durfee will go back out on offense with 5.25 to play in the game. start at the 20 yard line. Thomas with the handoff to Jason Hall. Dives forward to the 30 and that should be good to move the chains. It is. One play for 10 yards. Back to Hall again as he goes to the left side of the field, diving forward again. This should be good for a first down as well. Half a yard short, second and one. Four and a half to play. I, I'd like to see, you know, I have to say, I'd like to see the Hilltoppers a little bit more urgent to the line of scrimmage, if I'm being honest. Montero gets the carry. Montero gets the first down and crosses midfield into boxer territory as we come up on four minutes. 
Well, the Hilltoppers' schedule doesn't get any easier. Next week, they have to travel to Bridgewater Rainham for week two. And then they're back week three against the Dartmouth Indians, and we'll be back as well. Uh, Going to be co oping with our friends at DCTV. So we'll have a uh, multi-cam shoot going for week three, and that's in and out of the hands of Anasio. Incomplete pass. So, and then our uh, bye week is week four, and then week five, the regular season finale will be at New Bedford, and um, right now, at least, the early plans, hopefully, to uh, team up with our friends at New Bedford Cable as well, just like we do, they do uh, with us when we host New Bedford, when we go up there. Uh, Dan Cabral and his crew, always great and uh, fun to work with. Joe Cabral and Chris Santos, they are broadcasters and uh, hopefully joining them, at least that's early discussions, hoping to join them in the booth. Oh man, Thomas getting wrapped up by Reed. A big time loss. Hey, Third and 19. Timeout taken by Durfee. It stops the clock at 325. If you missed the live stream here on Facebook, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel under the same name, Fred TV Sports, for all of our video on demand content. Faced with a third and 19 as they get backed up to their own side of the field. They had just crossed midfield, but now having to retreat after the sack. Hall with the carry spins and gets tackled at the 45-46. Well short of the first down, looking at fourth and 15. And of course, you know, Durfee with no choice, they have to go for it as we come up on the final three minutes of the contest. Javon Holly still on the sidelines. I don't think he ever returned. Thomas rolling out, cutting back. Lost the ball, it was stripped from behind, bounced right into Rodrigo Lima's hands. And the boxers take over after the third turnover of the day for Durfee with 2.21 to play. Brockton taking over at the Durfee 48 yard line, first and 10. And they'll go to the ground on first down.
Medley keeping it, going right up the middle and good for a first down. That'll move the chains. Went to Zaquan Barnes. Tackled in the backfield for a loss. And at 128, timeout signaled on the field. Hilltoppers using the timeout. Very quick timeout for the Hilltoppers, obviously, just to stop the clock. Second and 12 from about the 39 yard line. Another handoff to Barnes. And another timeout coming. Looking at third and 10. Hilltopper is hopeful to get the ball back. Using a couple timeouts here in between plays. Third down and 10. Medley keeping. Lateraling. Loose ball. And the Hilltoppers have it. Down the sidelines. Sebastian Inacio. Knocked down. Inside the five. <laughs> wow. One of our officials is down. I think he got ran into back at the 30 yard line. An injury timeout, one of our officials down on the field after a very spectacular fumble recovery. Injury timeout here on the field. We're going to just step aside for a moment. We'll be back with the conclusion here on Fred TV. Don't go anywhere.
Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring members of the armed forces. Please assist in the mission to complete our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. The names of approximately 58,300 American heroes will appear on the aluminum panels. Black granite pavers may be purchased to memorialize those who proudly served. We welcome you to be part of this once-in-a-lifetime project. To make a donation, order an individual paver, and see future announcements, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us on Facebook. 100% of your donation goes toward construction and perpetual care of the Healing Wall. Committee members expect a formal dedication in the spring of 2021. The spirit of this cooperative effort is of value to us all. Back here at Durfee, our officials still being tended to on the sidelines. See both teams there on this wide shot. Both teams huddled up, waiting to uh, continue to play. One oh two left in the game. This timeout coming, this injury timeout coming after a fumble recovery by the Hilltoppers. And good to see that our official is being helped up now. Our official is up. Good to see that. Scary moment here at Mac Aldridge Field nearing the end of this week one game. But he just waved to the fans. He's doing okay. Or so it appears. Well, the Hilltoppers now. First and goal. 102 to play. After the fumble recovery and the mad dash from Anasio. Touchdown, Jason Hall. Makes it 28 to 20. So 57 seconds remain. And the Hilltoppers will kick the extra point. Inacio two for two on the day with extra point kicks. Trying to make it a seven point game. Kick on its way. And three for three. 28-21. Can't think of me? You can't. Oh, I got to I just want to. 
So it's a one possession game with 57 seconds to go. You have to imagine the Hilltoppers are going to go for the onside kick. Here we go, onside kick. It goes 10 yards. The boxers with possession. Played cleanly by Michael Curry. So the boxers will have it at their own 47, first and 10. After successfully holding on to an onside kick attempt by Durfee. Knee taken. Hilltoppers with no more timeouts remaining. Boxers just need to do it one more time. You know, considering it took the Hilltoppers offense some time to get going, I mean, man, we've seen some ugly losses to Brockton. This is not anything to panic over. Um, you know, a couple deep balls that Hilltoppers got burned on thanks to the superior passing really from uh, Medley this afternoon other than that I mean very decent game Hilltoppers do fall though on opening day by a final of 28 to 21 here at McAldridge Field Good game from both sides. Close game as it turned out. I, I never really felt like, you know, Brockton was up by, you know, four, four scores. Durfee never felt like they were out of it, quite frankly. At least not to me. Um, so, you know, the Hilltoppers with some work to do. But losing 28-21 to 21 on opening day after 16-month layoff, really, um, not too shabby, not a bad loss. So Hilltoppers will go back to the drawing board, have another week of practice, and they'll play week two on the road against BR before coming home in two weeks to square off against the Dartmouth Indians. Of course, we'll have that one for you as well. But before then, we have some girls volleyball on tap. So join us on Tuesday evening for our first look at Lady Hilltoppers volleyball from inside the field house. Until then, thanks for tuning in this afternoon on Fred TV. I'm Evan Massoud saying so long from Durfee High School. <laughs>